Hi everyone, um, for Subhanahu Shah with you. Uh, our subject today is it's about the uh, fuel cell system uh, powered by uh, the aid of uh, photovoltaics. Okay, uh, first of all, you have to uh, uh, specify your destination folder and uh, you have to go to your drive. After download, don't open your model from your desktop. Copy it to your working folder and uh, open it from from here. And you have to uh, click on this small arrow and sort by name, group by type, and you will find your folder here. Okay. Actually, this is um, not a first system related to, or this is not a first time for uh, photo uh, for uh, fuel cell because this is a full cell system uh, if you um, have some intention for oh, um, fuel cell only fuel cell there is another model for fuel cell we demonstrated this before okay this is fuel cell design okay but uh, this is not our um, target today our target is to talk about photo uh, uh, photovoltaic fuel cell system Okay, double click on your model, I go to your uh, view, model uh, browser, check all of this, set your simulation time into zero, and um, let's run ourselves, let's run ourselves inside and see what we can do about that. Fuel cell uh, system, it's uh, particularly uh, containing uh, three main units. Uh, we have you can add another two units, but for simplicity, this, these are just the three units. Uh, we have fuel cell unit, um, okay, in order to generate power. And for power generation, we need hydrogen, and therefore we need the electrolyzer unit in order to generate uh, hydrogen uh, uh, mass flow rate. And if you you can add a storage tank for hydrogen for uh, dynamic modeling or uh, absence of uh, solar energy because the, what is the, the reason for solar energy or photovoltaic the main reason is that this electrolyzer needs power so we have to consider photovoltaics as a main source of power in order to generate hydrogen through the electrolyzer and then by this hydrogen we can store it in a storage tank and we are going to use it with a fuel cell uh, unit okay this is the system this is a design system uh, so we have to assign our power through the fuel cell and the power from the fuel cell uh, will answer us about uh, the quantity of hydrogen, the quantity of water, the quantity of oxygen, and by knowing the quantity of uh, mass or the rate of uh, hydrogen mass flow rate, so you will uh, be able to assign, to discover your power uh, through the um, uh, electrolyzer, and this power needs photovoltaics, so it's. Uh, some kind of uh, uh, in, in inverted model you have to uh, assign uh, power firstly okay um, double click on your fuel cell model okay you will find yourself be able to assign ambient temperature normally our reference temperature normally mm -hmm. around 25 uh, cell temperature is between uh, 60 up to 70 75 80 no more than this and your total power, suppose you, you need your uh, power, uh, suppose I need to generate one kilowatt, okay, and you can assign your uh, cell area, and uh, anode pressure pressure, cathode anode pressure pressure and cathode pressure pressure, um, uh, cell uh, current uh, density, it's, it's around uh, 1.3, 1.4, let's go for 1.4, okay something like this uh, you have to uh, I'm sorry you have to 1.3 uh, 1.3 uh, 
you have to refer yourself to your uh, references in order to check these uh, values current coefficient suppose it's uh, 25 okay okay and for uh, electro laser you can assign just the efficiency okay in order this is based on losses its efficiency from uh, 60 percent up to 85 percent no more than this okay and for photovoltaic we demonstrated this model before you can choose between two models what per meter square or kilowatt hour per meter square so i stick myself for uh, what per meter square going inside the photovoltaic you will find uh, two models we are here what per meter square models so you have to double click here okay and you can assign some uh, parameters operating hours number of cloudy days solar radiation okay solar radiation can control this a uh, design uh, what is your med module power what is your planet power uh, it's up to you can design from 5 watt per module up to uh, eight, 280 module power uh, this of surely uh, uh, lower in, in medium power means extra area. Uh, battery depth of a charge, battery voltage, it's up to you. Uh, performance of the batteries 87, uh, 85, something like this. It's cost of the battery, you can adjust this. Um. Okay, we prepared everything just saving your model okay and uh, hit run in order to see uh, our results okay it's a simple model not complicated at all okay okay let's go inside for fuel cell um, model these are your inputs and these are your outputs double clicking on your model your model block you will find your code here so you can add or remove or edit but you have to save as your model firstly okay uh, we have this is your reversible voltage based on nearest uh, equation uh, okay and we have partial pressure for hydrogen partial pressure for oxygen uh, oxygen concentration um, activity losses and minus concentration losses ohmic losses okay there are four or three losses you have to consider okay and uh, this is your final uh, fuel cell voltage based on the losses and the reversible voltage through the cell so this is your net voltage of this uh, of the um, of the cell and this is your total voltage based on number of cells because your number of cells is going to be 11 cells okay and total system current this is your total system current based on one kilowatt power uh, this is oxygen mass flow rate hydrogen mass flow rate uh, and water mass flow rate so we are going to to use this hydrogen mass flow rate f uh, with the electrolyzer for this value of hydrogen mass flow rate we connected it to the electrolyzer from here as you can see we, this is our connection here okay and based on efficiency you can change the efficiency if you want uh, this is the power through the electrolyzer so for one kilowatt uh, per for from fuel cell you have to consume 1.2 uh, kilowatt uh, for the electrolyzer for photovoltaic system this is what per meter square so this is our system this is your open circuit voltage uh, short circuit current maximum voltage maximum current per module and uh, this is module efficiency cell efficiency number of modules i'm sorry number of cells per module dimension net weight uh, um, full uh, f of b price and number of modules okay we need to for one kilowatt we need just four modules cell area per module is uh, in a, a, a centimeter a square centimeter and uh, module area this is two, this is module area around 3.2 meter square meter 
and the uh, total system area it's around um, uh, 14.7 square meter this is the total photovoltaic area in order to serve the electrolyzer for to in order to generate sufficient hydrogen for uh, the fuel cell and the fuel cell is going to generate one kilowatt this is uh, battery this is this is your cost for photovoltaic okay so this is our system and we can go dynamically if you inter intended to um, if you have any intention to uh, change some parameters you can select infinity of the simulation time double clicking here in order to prepare your panel and let's hit run and see if we change some uh, parameters such as power I, I will increase the power as you can see here increasing the power up to uh, one megawatt okay and let's decrease uh, the temperature of the fuel cell a little bit from 70 down to 60 okay okay and let's decrease uh, current density down for uh, okay and let's enough uh, for this it, trying to uh, uh, change the efficiency of the electrolyzer as you can see reducing efficiency will, re will increase uh, the power load on uh, the photovoltaic as you can see here as you can see here uh, okay and stop and let's go for data inspector okay but be sure that your streams are selected for data inspector okay you can select the streams name your stream and go here and select the stream to that network okay okay let's go inside and see uh, our results um, okay let's reduce uh, reduce it a little bit okay and okay you will find your runs here uh, automatically saved here so you can compare runs and uh, this is the first run, it's to at zero time domain. Let's go for infinite zero time domain. Okay, uh, for um, this is uh, um, cell efficiency. Okay, module area. This is photovoltaic module area, uh, total system area for photovoltaic. As you can see, increasing uh, the total system area of the photovoltaic and uh, total photovoltaic costs related to the power increasing and the area and so on uh, number of uh, batteries uh, number of modules should be used okay the enough for photovoltaics let's go for uh, uh, open cell yes this is total power okay this is your total power and this is a uh, pressure partial pressure for hydrogen okay and we have here uh, uh, number of cells for through the fuel cell increasing as you can see this part is for the efficiency change uh, mass flow rate of the oxygen uh, mass flow rate for the hydrogen water we can compare water and hydrogen on the same curve or oxygen and water on the same curve okay as you can see here and uh, partial pressure for oxygen okay we can put uh, oxygen with hydrogen here on the same figure as you can see here uh, o2 concentration uh, this is losses and uh, fuel cell voltage uh, total system voltage total system current uh, voltage uh, uh, reversible voltage and uh, this is a uh, electrolyzer power so i can put electrolyzer power here with the total power as you can see here uh, uh, we need for based on losses we need more more power in order to control uh, the electrolyzer to support the hydrogen uh, flow rate for uh, 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 the fuel cell system 
we can as other models is completely different it's a design model completely designed so for fuel cell here this is the other model previous version one it's completely different and double clicking you just need to operating out a simple operating hours and the power okay suppose i going for 10 kilowatts of power okay Okay, and going inside here and hit run. I will see your results. Uh, this is your voltage. This is your costs. Fuel cell costs. And um, uh, this is ampere, current, system efficiency, and um, uh, flow rate, maximum uh, uh, flow rate, uh, kilogram per minute and uh, hydrogen pressure uh, temperature number of cells and total of system weight uh, size in centimeter cubic centimeter so you can comp you can uh, i'm sorry you can use these models uh, together in order to you have to never mind you can use these models together in order to uh, measure the performance, the power, and uh, the design uh, uh, aspects uh, for between uh, these two models. Finally, I would like to thank you very much for your uh, interest in our model. Don't forget to uh, like, share, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.